Here we have African cabbage. Now this, uh, as you can see, this, this uh, particular brassica is also flowering. Uh, so it is um, a little bit like the radish in that it's sensing day length. And uh, because the days are getting longer, it has bolted and it has flowered. And uh, Dale, I don't know that I've ever seen African cabbage uh, flower and bolt this uniformly. We always get a little bit, but I don't know, just the weather conditions, this is really, really nice. Uh, African cabbage, as you can tell, is going to be a taller plant. Uh, it's one of the taller brassicas that we have. Uh, it's got, you can always tell African cabbage, it's got a distinctive purple hue down the, down the stems. And uh, as you can see, as Dale has there. Now, one of the things that we really like about cabbage, and especially when you plant it a little later and it doesn't go reproductive like this, not only does it get tall, but for a brassica, it really has a high carbon to nitrogen ratio. And so when it freezes out in, in the fall, uh, you're not going to see this stuff just melt away like a turnip or a radish. It's going to stay standing tall. It's got good structure. It's a good snow catching plant uh, for in the winter time. Uh, so, you know, we like the African cabbage uh, for that reason. Now, uh, it's probably not quite as palatable as some of the other brassicas. It is very high in a uh, chemical compound called glucosinolates. The glucosinolates give it a really uh, very bitter, almost horseradish type flavor. Uh, but it's also what gives it some very good uh, nematicide properties. And so those glucosinolates uh, can help combat nematodes. So this is one of the plants we would put in a nematode uh, killing mix. Uh, but because of that, it's, it is high in protein, but it's not really that palatable for the animal. Yeah, and, and we talked about some of the other brassicas, the leaf stem ratio. This, amongst all the brassicas, probably has the lowest mm -hmm. leaf to stem ratio and that makes it less valuable as a grazing plant but this uh, this stem becomes kind of semi woody uh, over the winter so it does provide some residue some snow catch instead of just melting away um, provides a little cover for erosion control uh, doesn't just melt away to nothing over right. the winter time yeah. so so that uh, poor leaf stem ratio which makes it bad for grazing makes it good for soil conservation right so that's why you just have to kind of get to know your brassicas so right. you know which one to use where and again it's not necessarily bad to have something like this in a grazing mix where it may not be preferentially grazed because you do want some stuff standing out there even after the cattle have kind of taken what they want right they'll, they'll strip the leaves off but leave this central stock for residue. Yeah.